to suspend the ex-Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Walter Onogan, who is currently standing trial before it for false assets declaration. Naturally, since nature abhors vacuum, the president has sworn in the next in line, Justice Tanko Mohammed as acting Chief Justice of Nigeria. Since even corruption has company, expectantly, there has been reactions to this development. The preponderance of reactions has been that the suspension of the former CJ, uh, CJNN to pave way for a fair trial of his case at the Code of Conduct Tribunal and to save the judiciary from disrep uh, dispute is a step in the right direction. Fierce minority has launched a campaign to model the issues and create the impression that the removal of a, C, a, C, a CJN that willfully violated the laws of Nigeria is a rape of democracy. It is instructive that this narrow minority is led by the Opposition People's Democratic Party, uh, Party PDP, whose members have been the greatest beneficiaries of the baffling Supreme Court rulings that were procured while Onogan was still in office. For we have seen many lawyers have voiced opinions that support the steps President Buhari has taken. May we educate those that have been sent on the international errands to bring a program upon Nigeria that this is Nigeria. This is not America. It's not China. It's not Japan. It's not any country in Europe, but this is Nigeria, addressing its internal challenges with corruption based on extant legislation. With the era of cash and carry judiciary now over, anyone that violates the rights of others or the sanctity of the state in pursuit of their own rights to cause mayhem can be sure that recompense shall be swift and certain. We salute the courage of President Buhari for daring to take on corruption in the judiciary, even on the threshold of elections, without fearing that he could lose the votes of those that may be positively disposed to keeping that arm of government corrupt. Justice Onoge has painted his violation of the law in several shades and hues that he would not accept as relevant if he were so unbiasedly to rule on his suite.